Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root and put on a ROM uh, on your HTC Magic. Okay, if you're not there already, go to TheUnlocker.com, spelt like that in the video. Go to the post about how to root your HTC Magic. You can use the search bar at the top right and just type in the word magic and you'll find it. Um, scroll down. First thing you got to do is you have to check uh, your motherboard version. Check your motherboard version, you're going to turn off your phone. Then we're going to turn back on the phone by holding down the power and volume down button. So you get the little skateboarding Android screen. At the very top, it's going to say whatever it says here. See that right there? 32A. That's your motherboard version. You'll either have 32A or 32B. So make sure you know which one you have and then you can follow the steps accordingly. Okay, now that you know what motherboard you have, um, you're going to go to the appropriate procedure, either 32A or 32B, and you're going to download the files that are necessary. Our phone that we're using today is a 32A version, so we're going to go to the 32A procedure and download these three files. Okay, once you download those three files, you're going to click on the one Android SDK. I'm going to right click it and extract files. Now the path I'm going to extract it to is C. And then here I'm going to type Android, well let's make it cat, Android SDK with no slash behind or anything, just like that. And we're going to click OK. And it's going to extract all our stuff to that folder. Okay, after you put the Android SDK uh, and then you've extracted it to the C, you're going to see this folder when you go into your C drive. I right, open it, and then you'll see this folder inside of it. We're going to open that, highlight everything that's in here, and we're going to cut it it back and paste it underneath here. Okay, now this folder called Android SDK Windows whatever, we're going to delete that because now it has nothing inside of it. Yep. Okay, so now you should just have C, Android SDK, and then all of the folders that were inside. Okay, once the SDK has extracted, uh, you're going to plug in your HTC Magic, and uh, turn it on. Okay, to load the ADB driver, we're going to go to our Start menu, Devices and Printers, or for you it might be Control Panel, then Devices. And you're going to see Android Phone, and double click it. It's going to bring up the Properties. I'm going to click on Hardware tab, Properties. And then we're going to click this box to let us change settings. And we'll just open it again. And update driver. Now it's going to ask to search automatically, blah, blah, blah. No. We're going to do browse my computer for the software. We're going to click browse. And we're going to choose my computer. C. Android SDK. Then USB driver. And my computer is a 64-bit, so we're going to choose the AMD 64 folder. If you have a 32-bit, you're going to click the x86 folder. So, click AMD 64, click OK, then just click Next. Click Yes, install this driver anyway. Okay, now that the driver was installed, um, and it shouldn't have given you any errors, we are going to... Pull down this bar, mount the SD card, this way we can transfer files to it. Okay, once the SD card is open on the computer, we're going to take these two files here and drag them over. This is the recovery file in the ROM. Drag them over to the SD card and let them copy. Okay, once they are done copying over to the SD card, we are going to take the zip file, 
the magic sign, and we are going to rename it, update. Okay, now that we've put uh, the recovery file and the update file on the SD card, we're gonna click on the recovery file, control C to copy it, and we're gonna also put it under C, Android SDK, and inside the tools folder. You can just right click on an empty space and hit space. Okay, so now this is also in here. So when you're done there, you should have it, the Daldroid recovery image in the tools folder, in the Android SDK folder on your C drive. You should also have it on your memory card on your phone. Okay, now that we have the files on the SD card and in our uh, SDK folder on our computer, we are going to hit Menu, Settings. We're going to go to Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is enabled. Um, if it's not, check it. If it is already checked, then just leave it. Okay, once we have that all debugged and ready to go, we are going to turn off USB storage. Unplug the phone. And we're going to turn it off. Okay, once the phone is off, we're going to turn it back on by holding the power and the back button. Okay, and now you should see fast boot right there underneath the uh, general information. Once you do, you're going to plug the phone back in. And now it should say fast boot USB. Okay, now that the phone is plugged in in fast boot USB mode, we're going to go to our start menu. And here in the little search or the command or whatever you want to call it, we're going to type in CMD and hit enter. This should bring up an MS-DOS prompt. Okay, now in the MS-DOS prompt, prompt, you're going to type CD, slash, and it should give you just a C. Um, and now we're going to type CD, space, and Android SDK, which is the name of the folder we gave uh, the SDK, slash, tools, slash, and hit enter. Okay, and now we're going to type fast boot devices and hit enter. And now it should show you a serial number with the word fast boot behind it. That is uh, telling you that it recognizes your phone. If you don't see this, you need to start over. Um, if you're having trouble, we do have a link on the website that shows you uh, some uh, better tutorial for how to just set up the USB drivers if you're having issues. So uh, do that first then go through the whole process again and come back to this. If it does show that, then you're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, the next next step is going to be to type fast boot space boot space Dell droid hyphen recovery dot img Okay, and then we're going to hit enter. Tell you that it's downloading. Okay, booting. Okay. And now your phone should reboot into a recovery image. So your phone should reboot, and then your screen should look like this. This is the recovery image that we just sent to the phone through Fastboot. Um, we're going to scroll down to apply SD card update.zip and push down on the trackball. And this should install the update.zip that we have put on the phone. Okay, once it's done installing the uh, update.zip from the SD card, it'll say install from SD card complete. We're going to push down on the trackball on the home and back to reboot the phone. Okay, once the phone boots up, it might take a while first off for it to boot up completely. But once it does, you're all set. You now have uh, a ROM with root access.